I can't believe this happened. It's what everyone was hoping and dreaming of, but we never actually thought the day would come. Hello! In today's video, we're going to be talking about different custom design ideas and tips to help fill up your island. Them adding more custom spots was literally the smartest move. It's something that people are going to spend hours and hours with. You thought you played this game for a long time already? Get ready to add tens of hundreds of more hours. They've really given us the ability to truly make each of our islands even more unique than before, and exactly what we want them to be. So get inspired. I'm going to be sharing a few different design ideas that some of you have seen before, but I'm going to remind you of them so you can incorporate them on your island. But hopefully I'll throw in some new ideas that you haven't considered before. I'm going to be showing you some ideas that I've used and are ideas that I've seen from other creators. I'm also going to credit each designer that I highlight in this video, so go and check them out. First up, fill up your beach. Finally, this is something I've always wanted to have design slots dedicated to, but never had the room for. I'm someone who has no idea what to do with half of my beach space, and these designs are absolutely perfect for this. A few different options are little starfish and shells and sand doodles. These sand doodles are some of my favorite designs that I've seen. They're so simple and cute, but they can be just about anything. Don't forget to add a stick nearby that was used to make the sand doodle. Next, something that I've done with my island to make it seem more filled is fill in empty spots with foliage. The little flower patterns that can go anywhere to make any area seem less bare. Clovers are also a good alternative to weeds to accomplish this goal. Puddles is another cute idea that I've seen on islands. Also, create raised platforms. Doing this can take up quite a few spots for one design, but they look so nice and give more depth and elevation. They look great anywhere. I've used it both inside and outside. These come in various colors and materials, so you can really make an area your own. The path is something that many people have on their island, me included. But there's so many different variations of the path out there. You can change the path by season, you can make it have mushrooms, flowers, there's so many possibilities. Stones are another great way to fill up space on your island. It gives a different texture to the environment. I've used various stones to serve as a path as well. Make sure if you're using stones, you get a small variety. The same stone repeating may look odd. There's also these stone patterns that I've seen people use, and it really makes an area look so nice when something like a light or a bench is placed on top of it. Tired of seeing cottagecore everywhere? Who am I kidding? Cottagecore is lovely and so nice to look at. But, looking for more urban vibes? Street designs take a lot of design slots, but I use this design to make my city area. Here's some other ones. Um, a lot of them have sidewalks, which looks so great. Panels are also a great way to display custom designs. For example, in my city area, I made buildings out of panels and stalls. They also look great for windows for the greenhouse or shelving for a bar or cafe. I find panels the easiest way to transform an area's ambiance. Everything gets a sign now. There's such cute designs out there. Cafe sign, honey stall sign, farm area sign, fruit orchard or stall sign, any little shop or area you have can have its own sign now. Also, since we can't actually put rugs outside, why can't we do this? Dedicate some design slots to finding one or two rugs for various areas on your island. They usually take up three slots each, but they're essential for picnic areas and cozy stargazing spots. Type in keywords and look at other designs creators have made. For example, something I did was I knew I wanted stars on the ground in my back stargazing area around Lolly's house. So I went to the app and typed star. And told it to show me different ground slash floor ideas. 
that use that word. I ended up finding two that I really liked. And now we actually have the space to have designs like this. If you have a general idea, this is a great place to start to get you more inspired. Okay, so here are some rapid fire ideas. Swimming pool, a basketball court, railroad tracks, beach volleyball court, signs for your villagers in front of their homes, crops for a farm, buried bones in a dig site. The possibilities are endless now. I hope this has been helpful for you all. Personally, I'm so excited about all the possibilities having these new slots open up. I was already redesigning a lot of my island before. This has really inspired me to make my island exactly how I want it to be. Are there any ideas that all of you use in your islands that I missed? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, that definitely helps me out. And be sure to subscribe for more content like this. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.